Seven out of eight constituencies spoke strongly in my favor. Your Honor, nearly a thousand out of the 1,200 polling stations did. Your Honor, for that reason, I would like to appeal to this honorable court to uphold the election voting is supposed to close at 5 p.m. Yes, Your Honor. Now, at that particular polling station, as you said, you know, it is possible or likely voters were affected, it doesn't matter whose supporters they were, or whose voters they were. If there was violence, it affected the vote of somebody. That's and right. that person, if somebody's vote was, if somebody was affected by the violence at the point that the university got to tell you there is no such evidence. So in all fairness, in all fairness, they should go fast because they have taken the same side. Their case is aligned to the case. And, and, and they are next. They are That uh, the process has been smooth, fast, and efficient. And we believe that uh, this will translate into a free, fair, and very viable election. Uh, the only challenge we are observing is that uh, there is a low turnout of voters in this by-election and I want to encourage and beseech my fellow members and residents of Ngoma to turn out and vote in this by-election so that they determine the next senator of Bungoma and I believe it's yours truly, David Wakoliwafula. And then Kenya is an incredibly important strategic partner for the UK and a country committed to uh, net zero, but also a global leader in the advocacy for uh, renewables, which is why when my Prime Minister and uh, President Ruto met at COP27, he was very pleased to fast track 500 billion Kenyan shilling worth of green investment projects. These investments are flagship projects and they are uh, an integral part of the UK-Kenya strategic partnership. And that's a partnership that will strengthen our current 200 billion shilling trade and investment relationship and produce mutual benefits for both our great countries. British investment is already a force for good in Kenya. As His Excellency the President reminded me in our meeting earlier on today, there are 150 British firms that are already here and are respected for, their, for the innovation that they bring and their commitment to their workers and their local communities. And they work hand in hand with a country that is displaying ambition and energy at every stage. And together, I know that that partnership can take us both so much further. The UK's investment in Kenya's railways are transparent and reliable. They support Kenya's economic independence, and our export finance is the first in the world to include a climate resilient debt clause. Now this means that uh, repayments can be suspended in the event of drought or other extreme climate event, freeing up resources that Kenya needs for its emergency response. Kenya is an incredibly important strategic partner for the UK and a country committed to uh, net zero. 
but also a global leader in the advocacy for uh, renewables, which is why when my Prime Minister and uh, uh, President Ruto met at COP27, he was very pleased to fast track 500 billion Kenyan, sh Kenyan shilling worth of green investment projects. These investments are flagship projects and they are uh, an integral part of the UK-Kenya strategic partnership. And that's a partnership that will strengthen our current 200 billion shilling trade and investment relationship and produce mutual benefits for both our great countries. British investment is already a force for good in Kenya. As His Excellency the President reminded me in our meeting earlier on today, there are 150 British firms that are already here and are respected for, their, for the innovation that they bring and their commitment to their workers and their local communities. And they work hand in hand with a country that is displaying ambition and energy at every stage. And together, I know that that partnership can take us both so much further. The UK's investment in Kenya's railways are transparent and reliable. They support Kenya's economic independence and our export finance is the first in the world to include a climate resilient debt clause. Now this means that uh, repayments can be suspended in the event of drought or other extreme climate event, freeing up resources that Kenya needs for its emergency response.